Hi, first graders. Welcome back. This is a brand new module, module three. We're starting on week one, day one. And to kick off our brand new module, all you need is your thinking cap and your listening ears. So let's get started. We have received a mystery riddle or a written puzzle. We are going to have to work together to solve this riddle, acting like detectives, listening for clues to help us solve the mystery. Are you ready to see the mystery riddle? Now, I only want us to read a few lines at a time, so I'll hide some of it so that we can only see a few things at a time. Listen and try to solve as I read the riddle. We are animals. We can be big or small. Show me that line with your hands. We can be big or small. You walk by us every day. We can be colorful or plain. Hmm. Colorful or plain. Do you have a guess as to what it is? Let's keep reading to see. Some of us fly. Hmm. Some of us run. And some of us swim. Show me flying. Some of us fly. Some of us run. And some of us swim. But we all have wings. We all hatch from eggs. Some of us eat seeds. Some of us eat insects, but we all have beaks. What makes us special though is our feathers. What are we? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds of think time to guess what it is. Okay, detectives, hold up your microphone, and on the count of three, I want to hear what you think our riddle is talking about. One, two, three. Yes, it's talking about birds. Birds. This unit, or this module, we are going to be learning about birds. Now, let's look at our card up here, bird. We are going to add this card to our bird word wall. And throughout our module, as we learn more about birds, we're going to add more and more vocabulary words to our word wall. Good job solving that riddle. Now, you'll also notice that in our classroom, we have a new text. And this text is called birds. We're going to dive into this text today. But first, let's look at our learning targets. Our first target says, I can gather facts from different resources to explain what I know about birds. Now that text that I just showed you is going to be one of the resources that you use today. So we'll be gathering facts from that text to explain what we know about birds. Then, I can participate in a conversation about what I notice and wonder about birds. Remember, notice means all the things that you're seeing and observing. And wonder means the questions that you still have. We'll participate in a conversation after we read our text. Let's start by listening to our text, birds. Make sure that you have free hands so that you can focus and listen to the text. Are you ready? Okay. Birds, narrated by Wavery Clemens. What is a bird? Birds are really cool. They are the only animals that have feathers. All of them have wings and most can fly. A bird has two feet and a beak. 
Birds such as these, green bee eaters, like to sing to one another. All birds lay eggs. Most look after them until the eggs hatch into chicks. Dinosaur bird. Did you know that birds are related to dinosaurs? Some dinosaurs had feathers, just like birds do. Cool colors. There are over 10,000 colorful kinds of bird. Long tail finch. Mountain bluebird. Scarlet tonager, American goldfinch, Anna's hummingbird, Great spotted woodpecker, Secretary bird, Kill Bill toucan, Great horned owl, Mallard duck, Chaffinch, Purple finch, Blue tit, Rufus hummingbird, Goodian finch, Pheasant, Flamingo, red and green macaw, Indian peafowl, common kingfisher, Wyandotte chicken, mandarin duck, rainbow lorikeet, feathers. Look for feathers on the ground. Can you tell what each type of feather is used for? Feathers can be oily to keep birds dry. Long wing feather, fluffy body feather, stiff tail feather. Feathers have different jobs. Birds use long wing feathers to fly. Stiff tail feathers help them change direction in flight. Small soft body feathers keep a bird warm and snug. They trap warm air against a bird's body. Some birds use their feathers to show off. The male peacock fans out his amazing tail feathers. The color of a bird's feathers can help it hide against a background. This is called camouflage. Brilliant beaks. A bird's beak is perfectly shaped to eat its favorite foods. Some beaks catch fish. Some beaks crack nuts. A long beak helps the toucan save energy. It can reach fruit and trees without moving. Beaks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They are used for grooming and for fighting as well as for eating. Buzzard tears flesh. Australian pelican traps fish. Atlantic puffing grips fish. Flamingo sifts water. Blue and yellow macaw cracks nuts. Brambling cracks seeds. Kiwi senses bugs. Mallard duck dabbles in water. Fantastic feet. Wings are cool. But birds have neat feet, too. A chicken has toes with strong claws. It scratches for food. A heron has long, thin toes that help it balance as it wades in soft mud. A finch has three forward-facing toes and one facing back for perching. An emu has three thick toes for running and kicking. A duck has webbed feet. Skin stretched between its toes helps it paddle. An eagle has long, sharp claws called talons to grab prey. This blue-footed booby has blue webbed feet. Birds of prey. Red kite. Hawk. Eagle owl. Falcon, buzzard. This bald eagle has seven and a half foot long, two meter wings that allow it to fly fast or glide smoothly. Birds of prey are great hunters. Hook beaks and sharp talons help them catch their prey. There are about 200 types of owl. Their special feathers 
let them swoop silently down on prey. An osprey dives down to catch fish from 60 feet, 18 meters in the air. One toe can turn to help grip fish. A secretary bird hunts small animals, even snakes. It stamps on a snake with its large feet. Vultures eat large dead animals. They have bald necks to avoid getting bloody while they eat. Wasn't that interesting? Now that we've read our new text, Birds, let's have a conversation about it. First, what did you notice and wonder? Hmm. Tell me one thing that you noticed when we were listening to our text. Good, and what's one thing that you wonder? Now, thinking about the whole text in its entirety, what was the text mostly about? I'll give you a second to think. What was the text mostly about? Birds. It was mostly about birds. And really, it was a nonfiction text. So it talked about feathers, what they eat, where they live, the purpose of their colors. We got a lot of information from this text, didn't we? Have you ever seen a bird? And if you have, what did it look like? What was it doing? And I don't mean up in the sky, I mean up close. Have you ever seen a bird? What was it doing and what did it look like? Thank you for sharing. You know, I have these big planters that hang from my front porch. And sometimes in the spring, the birds like to fly in and they make these cute little nests and they lay eggs and I get to watch them. And I've noticed that the babies, they look like little round puff balls. And they're always laying with their little mouths open. That's what they're always doing. What do you think about birds? Do you have any observations from what you have noticed, not from the text, but from you? Good. And lastly, has anyone in your family had experiences with birds? Do they have any stories about them? Have they seen them before or maybe even had them as a pet. Do you know? This could be something that you try tonight. Ask your family, your guardian or a sibling, hey, what experiences have you had with birds? Do you know anyone that has had a bird as a pet? Or what do you think about birds? Thank you for joining me in a conversation. Our learning targets today were, I can gather facts from different resources to explain what I know about birds. We were able to gather facts from our text. We were able to gather facts from our own memory. And we use those facts to participate in a conversation. And we participated in a conversation about what we noticed and what we wondered about birds from our own experience and from what we noticed in the text. You did a wonderful job today. You solved the riddle, and now we know that our module is going to be about birds. And then you started gathering some facts by diving into our text. For independent work, I'd like to invite you to rewind this video and rewatch the read aloud of the text. As you're re-watching and listening to this read aloud, I'd like you to think about what you see and what you notice and wonder. I will see you next time. Bye friends.